All right, so something kind of cool happened yesterday. A guy came into the DaveTD Discord and he claimed that he had photos of an unreleased phone, the OnePlus 9 Pro. And this isn't uncommon, like people will often pretend like they have something special to share and they, it's usually crap. But just out of curiosity, I DM the guy. I'm like, well, let, let's see them. And I think these are real. I think these are legitimately pictures of the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now, the first thing I did when I got them was I went onto Google and be like, I want to compare these pictures with other leaks, right? Just to kind of see if it matched the leaks of other stuff, because he sent me a bunch of photos. And the craziest thing is I couldn't find any photos that looked like this. There were no other photos on the internet of a OnePlus 9 Pro that had this kind of camera array. I think these are real. So it's supposed to be a OnePlus 9 Pro, and that would imply that all the previous leaks we've seen before are just the regular OnePlus 9 because the camera system is slightly different. This has a four camera setup and it looks quite different from the existing OnePlus 8 Pro, but you'll also notice the branding of Hasselblad on the back of this. And this is really interesting. We'll get back to it in a second, which keep in mind. Okay, other observations. There's a curved screen, kind of like the one on the OnePlus 8 Pro, but this is distinctly different looking than the other leaks we've seen. Like all the OnePlus 9 pictures or leaked OnePlus 9 pictures we've seen had a flat display. And this, seemingly because it's the Pro version, has curved edges on the side once again. It also has a glossy back, so the matte or satin finish that we saw on the OnePlus 8T and the OnePlus 8 Pro, like I've loved this kind of satin smooth matte material, but it's seemingly this glossy silver color on this OnePlus 9 Pro. And there's also the classic notification slider. Now there is something slightly different in this photo. So if you'll notice, the frame is cut around the sleep wake button and that notification slider. And normally on OnePlus phones, it's just this even uniform frame that goes around the device, right? There's no angled cuts in the frame usually, but in this photo, there's clearly something different going on. And I'm not sure if the frame is just a little bit thinner than normal and they have to widen it up at the notification slider, or if that slider and the sleep wake button are just bigger than normal and they just had to flare out the frame there. The USB-C port on the bottom and the antenna bands on the device look pretty standard, but there's also some pictures here of a 1440p display running at 120 hertz. Now, hardware-wise, there's no confirmation here of the CPU it's running. I'd assume it's the Snapdragon 888, but there is a picture here of 11 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of storage. And I thought the 11 gigs was a little strange, like I had expected to be 12, if it was gonna go that high. So I asked the guy, I'm like, is it 12? And it's just reading it wrong and he had no idea. In fact, I asked him a bunch of questions and they were all just, I don't know. So based on the pictures, 11 gigs of RAM, maybe 12. Okay, the camera system. So you have your regular lens, like a wide angle. You have your ultra wide, seemingly at 0.6X again, and you have a zoom. Now last year's OnePlus 8 Pro had a lossless three times zoom, but there's a picture here of a new 3.3X. I'm not sure if that's the optics or if that's just really early software, but that's somewhat interesting. And there's also a tilt shift photography mode in the camera app. But the most interesting thing to me is that branding on the back of this whole camera array the Hasselblad. And if you're unfamiliar with that company, they are a Swedish camera company and they're best known for like their medium format cameras, expensive stuff, really good quality stuff, but expensive. And the reason why it's interesting is that this brand does not do camera, like smartphone camera partnerships very often. They did them, I don't know, five, six years ago, but they're usually just doing their own thing. And the other thing that's interesting is that Vivo, it's a company that's kind of like a sister company to OnePlus, They've done stuff with Zeiss, and there were rumors that OnePlus would also be doing a partnership with Zeiss, but here we are with photos of a OnePlus 9 Pro with Hasselblad branding on the back. Hasselblad, they're not cheap. All of their stuff is very expensive, and for OnePlus to be able to use Hasselblad's branding and to partner with Hasselblad onto the phone, it couldn't have come cheap. Nothing from Hasselblad is cheap. Pete Lau, like the CEO of OnePlus at this point, He's gone on record saying that this year, OnePlus was putting a lot of resources into their camera system. So I asked the guy, is this Hasselblad branding also gonna be on the OnePlus 9? And he had no idea. So as long as I'm not being trolled and these are legitimate images, the one thing we can take away is that there is some kind of partnership with OnePlus and Hasselblad to create this OnePlus 9 Pro camera system at the very least, which is cool. But the big question is really, what is it gonna bring, right? What does that partnership really do for the images? Because that's really the only thing that matters. And there've been a lot of companies out there that have just used camera branding, like famous 
camera companies and just stuck it onto phones with seemingly very little to show for it in terms of image quality. But that's every image I got. I mean, I, I feel like this is a, this is cool. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.